Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Cario Wake Up Light Sunrise Alarm Clock. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So it says three light levels, the light therapy specialist that invented wake up lights. Here it says ease into your morning, no more late mornings. You have clock time, display contrast, wake up sound, FM radio sleep sound, snooze, dawn duration, dual alarm clock, dual USB port. Here it says display contrast, FM radio sleep sound, dawn duration, every day, weekdays, weekends. So here's a QR code for support. We have a USB port with a barrel connector on it. There's the sleep light. Comes with a power adapter. So this is five volts at two amps. Here's the light itself. It has a shrink wrap on it. I didn't measure the cord, but it seems to be around five foot. So I'll plug that in here. We have the two USB ports here. Turn off my light so we can see this. So it says 12 noon, or no, 12 in the morning, 12 midnight. So this placard says it does have a memory battery, which is here. It looks like a CR2032. So you pull this tab out to activate it. So that way, if the power goes out, it doesn't lose its settings. So if your power goes out in the middle of night, if the power comes back on, it should retain that clock setting. So here's the manual. So it comes with the power cord, the clock, and the battery pre-installed. And to reiterate, that battery just retains the settings. It doesn't run the clock where you can use it. So if the power is out when you wake up, this will not operate properly. Or if the power comes back on, it will. So here we have the FM music button, alarm one, alarm two, snooze, sleep timer. Then we have color, sunrise, and effect. And we have the display time on the front. Here's the diagram for the display. It says current time, day of the week weekday alarm, function icon, weekends alarm, month and day, and here are the different icons there. So here's setup and maintenance here. Here's the control panel. Here's how to set the time. as time brightness control, alarm on off. Got to set the alarm, the weekday alarm option. Here's how to turn off the alarm the FM radio, how to do sleep sounds, the lighted sunrise mode, the light clock mode, light effect mode, sleep timer, and some question answer. So let's try some features of this. Let me turn this off, let's see if we hit color. Okay, so that turned the light on, it's around the perimeter. We had a red, a green, a blue, purple, that's off. Here's the effect mode. So this has a sort of RGB effect, it's green on the top. I don't know if we can change. Let's just hit effect again. Okay, so if you hit effect again, you can change through the different modes. Oh, here we go. It's kind of hard to see here because I have a light above. So you can see which effect we're looking at. Same with the lighted modes. And we have sunrise mode. So you can see there's a level here. So that's pretty bright. We can turn that down with this knob. So that's very convenient. So to dim it, you just use this little rotary knob here. So that's a lot faster than if it had like up down buttons on it. Oh, and as I'm holding this up, I notice it has like a rubber and a foot on it. So it shouldn't slide around too much. So I'll turn that off. Okay. So in the back, we have some buttons too. We have the alarm one dimmer and alarm two. So to set the time, it says, hold down the time set for two seconds. Okay. And then rotate the knob here. And if we press and rotate, that will adjust the hour more quickly. So it's 1103 right now. Okay, so it says click the time set to go to the 24 hour mode. So this will do 12 or 24 hours. Tap that again. We have the year, that looks good. We have the month. It's October 14th, the day I'm filming this. And I'll press the time set again. So you press this button on the back to go through the modes and you turn this knob to change the settings. So that was pretty easy to do. So now we have the current time set. So we can adjust the dimness of this. So this dimmer button we use for time set, but it also will dim this display. So we can just press it. So this is very dim right now. I can barely see it. Of course, I'm in a lighted room, but if you're in a dark room, this would be a lot dimmer and that's off completely. So this must be the full brightness here. This just is not coming through on the camera very well. So the color you're seeing on the camera is a lot more orange than this looks in real life. But that dim mode is nice. So you can turn that off completely, which I know there's gonna be some people that are gonna want that off at night, or you can have it just be dim. I think that's neat that that has the date on there too. That's pretty handy. So to set the alarm, we'll hold down the alarm one and alarm one and alarm two work the same. And then we can rotate the knob. This is gonna work the same as setting the time. So let's see, 11.07. And this has different modes here. I don't know if you can hear that. Different sounds. Go with that one. So this is the volume level for that, it looks like. 
So there are 16 volume levels. This is the sunrise setting. So I press the button in the back again. So this is how long the light's gonna go off. So I will do 10 minutes, I think. And then we have the brightness level. So I'll do that full brightness, okay? So we ran into a little issue here is that I took too long to set that. So I'm going to put this a minute forward. Okay, so we'll wait for this to start up. Okay, so the music started and you can see the wake up light turned on. So to turn off the alarm, we'll hit the button on the top that says off. There's also a snooze. So I don't think I was quite clear with how that works because I had set the light to come on at the same time as the alarm, but typically you would set the light to come on first. So let me go through that quick. So I'm in the alarm mode. It says 7 a.m. We're doing the sound. We're doing the volume. So we have the alarm coming on at seven, and this is going to turn the light on at 6.30. Now I can adjust this starting at six o'clock every 10 minutes to 6.50. So this will start off dim and then it will slowly get brighter to maximum brightness until it hits your alarm time. So when your alarm time is set is when the light will reach full brightness. So hopefully that clears things up. So when the alarm is off, we can press this button on the back to change the mode. So it's on every day. If we hit it again, it'll have Monday through Friday. So it has a little light up here. I'll show in the manual here. So these are the little icons you'll see. This is everyday mode, weekdays and weekends. So you can set the type of alarm you want. So it says after turning on the alarm, the wake up light will turn on at a preset time and the brightness will be gradually increased. It will reach preset brightness and turn the sound on when the alarm goes off or you wake up. When the alarm goes off, you can do the following. You can snooze, so that'll snooze for nine minutes, or you can turn it off by pressing the button on the top. If nothing happens in 30 minutes, it will turn off. So this has a radio on it. So I am in a basement. I don't know how well this is going to work. It says press and hold the FM button for two seconds to find presets. So right now it's looking for presets. I would be surprised if it finds anything in the basement here. Let me pull the antenna out. Okay, that did find some stations. So the volume is here. Then we can go to the next preset station here. So there was a station. So aside from the radio, there's also sleep sounds, which is this here. So that will play. Sounds like this is a bird. So again, you can see these numbers here change. some waves, music box, so it looks like it has seven different sounds and there's also a sleep timer on there. So if we hold this down for two seconds that turns on the sleep timer. So we have 10. To 120 minutes. And here are the different names of those. We have early morning birds, summer insects, piano tour, meditation nature, water seagull, lullaby, and sleeping. So if you just want to turn the light on, we can hit sunrise over here, and then we can adjust that with the control for the brightness. And then we have the color mode I demonstrated earlier too there and the effect mode. So I showed those earlier. So that's the carry out sunrise alarm clock. So I like using a sunrise alarm clock, especially in the winter time. It can turn the light on in the morning gradually. So it will help you wake up. And while I'm filming this, it's October. It's already starting to get dark out at night and in the morning. So I think this is an easy way to start your day. This has a lot of nice features on it. It has two alarms. It has the sleep sounds, it has the different lighting modes on it. This has two USB ports in it. So you can charge your devices with this. So you could plug your phone in here. So if you were to put this on your nightstand and you, if you charge your phone on your nightstand, you could probably get some, say, one foot cords to plug in here so that can really cut down on your cords on your nightstand but that's a nice feature so if you're looking for a wake-up light that also incorporates an alarm clock i think this is a great option so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you could do that thanks for watching until next time goodbye